Morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you mm. And welcome back to the beat up plan as we return to Vampire the Masquerade, the final night. In the last episode, we went toe to toe. Or we actually excavated and stayed within the shadows, shooting from afar with the Vampire Hunter. Yes, indeed, that is some epic music worth, and moreover, we fought toe to toe with some Russian Mafia. Unfortunately, however, we suffered their final death, and then when we reloaded, the game was a little bit out of sorts, and we still have all these policemen walking around here. There's nothing that we can do about it. Oh, I did reload the game, so I hope that when we go into combat, everything will be sorted out a wee little bit better, because that wasn't very comfortable or nice. What? Passed on your message. Where the sound only seems to go well louder. I'm listening. I'll start this club. I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. What's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian mafia. Does that make a difference? Hmm. You're still human, right? We'll be dead before the sun rises. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always as a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out sneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, here to the penthouse level. When I'll be back, he will no longer be breathing. Actually, we have a lot of stuff to do in that hotel, so let us get to it. After all, we have, uh, also a fight with my own kind to fight with a kindred and because well we got on ourselves to grow into a stronger and stronger vampire and we now have the experience to add diamond on level three that is hopefully going to do some serious damage to the kindred as it does do aggravated damage all right, um, you know what, first let's, let's get ourselves a drink. Not rest for the wicked, we want blood of the sinner. Don, he's making a phone call. Kinda hoped for him to move into this alleyway. Hmm. I'm also afraid that despite the fact that he's on the phone, he might actually see what I'm doing. So we'll have to wait until these bums are a little bit more further away. When can I not see him anymore? Over here. Good. Ah! Thank you. That is a... Oh. Damn, this guy is diseased again. Yeah. Calling to get a good drink here. Yeah. Can't wait until I get this business sorted. Ugh. He can't even eat properly. Ugh. Damn. Whoa, the amount of blood that I'm spewing out. <laughs> Will you get off the f You know what? Fuck that! Arrgh. Get over here! Good. We have a oh, drink. In fact... Now we had our fill! Ooh, just in time, stopped before the other guy came too. Well... 
time to head into this place. And open up! I remember there was a little box that I wanted to get into. So. Okay, that opened out of them on its own accord. Now this lock we could open, but I remember specifically that this one wasn't. I think this was the seven one, so let us open it now. There we go. A hundred cash. Awesome. So we have both the penthouse to go to as well as uh, the uh, place of my kindred, but I think I'm going to do the penthouse level first. I have the feeling that was going to be easier. Whoa! Loud music. I wonder why that is. Are you going to move at all? That guy is oblivious. Blood of the sinners, please. Thank you. Ah, good drink. The good thing about easing also of the Mavia is that you can get your hardware all sorted out. Oh, you know what? Just kill him already. Man, this music is loud. It's actually kind of annoying. There's a god over there. We'll have to kill him as well. Whoa! Why the hell did I get shot? I guess. I had no idea why that happened. Most likely someone heard me drinking or so. Yeah, that's it. They probably heard me drinking. Good. We can make use of this. Thank you, you idiot. There we go. We could actually use a little bit of a bluff heal. Randomly firing into a hallway. Good luck. Okay. That is also a way to deal with things. Damn it. He had to have an ally just coming out of the corner. Oh. 
Thank you. There we go. Well, we are good on blood and all. I must say, we're also getting quite good in. Uh, What's going on over here? Oh, there's a party in here, I see. One more guy that I could... Well, do without. Well, there was a party in here. We have killed most of these attendees. Like, why, why am I not getting the opportunity to stealth kill this guy? Goodbye. Luckily, these folks are hiding so much they can't, don't even know what is going on. Hmm, this is now considered a dance floor as well. Funny. Also allows me to drink some blood after this mission whenever I need it. How particularly handy. Ooh, I don't think that was there before. Failed. For now. Success guaranteed. And another hundred bucks. Awesome. Can we find any gold in here? Oh, no one in here. And no one on the, the loot. I think we may have, uh, with that little firefight of us, caused everybody to be away. Hmm, perhaps there's only the Mafia boss left. Whoa, nope, there isn't. <laughs> Sorry there. You are going to be my next meal. Thank you. For your contribution. Very good. One more god. Down and out would count. Normally there's a big ass guy over here. Where's he gone off to? Hmm. Hey, Whoa, okay. Guess we're not gonna talk. Guess you're just gonna be my meal. Now, I don't mind this at all, because, well, normally you get two experience points for this, and I actually do know that if you, uh... He does offer you an opportunity, and I'm certain that we had enough, um... Persuasion for that, and that is to kill Venus, but... I want to be the silent partner. Why? Money will get me skill books. Difficulty of eight. I don't think we can break that just yet. No, not just yet. We could... Uh, no, 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 that's too difficult. We, can, we have books on security that we could now buy and then return to this place. But I think that is it. I think the next order of business is to visit my kindred. I guess Demon was already shot without me knowing it. How practical for me. Mm, and on her, we probably want to use Configuration mainly. I have never used the ability before, so bear with me. I'll probably make a mistake or two. I would like to holster this. Oh, it's uh, five, apparently. Instead of six. So let us get that ready. Configuration. Oh, I haven't got the, the key card yet to her place. Whoops. I have gone a little too quick. 
I thought I had already been in here. Hadn't I? Hmm. Yes? May I help you? Is there a guest named Jezebel Locke over here? Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more... Um... Popular guests. Why do you ask? I need a key to her room. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Ah, uh, you... I understand, but... You see, I'm an old friend of hers. It's a surprise visit. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thank you. How in the heck did I not have this key yet? Did I? Did I go in here in an alternate dimension? I knew there was this box over there. Excellent, we knew that from the anti-tribu mod. But... Oh, I'm surprised I... No, never mind. Configuration. Let's have it run the ready. Oh, who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Ah... Uh, that is a dumb question, makers of... Makers of the mod, if you could change this question. Have you come for the alignment only Jezebel can give? I take it you are Jezebel Luck. Uh, that's kind of a dumb question. But alright. Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Hmm. What the hell is going on around here? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Not that I am complaining, but don't you usually stick to whores like Hannah? Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? Hmm. I guess it sounds okay, but I think I'd rather tear your head off. Okay. Oh, why did I use blood heal? I had it standing on configuration, as everybody had noticed. There we go. How do you like them apples? Uh, I can't use it again. Apparently, you have a short moment in which you can't use it. Good to know. Ow! Oh. She is using a trick of her own. But I must say, this configuration is an awesome skill to kill my kindred. Ooh. Came a little close for comfort, no, I have to admit. Ow. Hmm. Let us bloody you once. Oh, that's taken care of. How about opening this box? How difficult are you? Ooh. Quite easily, to be honest. Fifty bucks! Let's take it. And with that, yes! Your bulging wallet makes you an undead Rockefeller! Well... I think it is time to buy some skill books. Go back to Venus, get some skill books in us, and spend all points wisely! Hmm... Actually, in fact, I'm considering increasing intelligence already. Because we need a little bit more research. In order to, well, use the books that Akeem has for offer. Mm. Or perhaps I should just increase research itself? Not sure if that is a good idea or a possibility. Let's see here. Uh, in scholarship, that is. That would also actually get me additional persuasion. And it's only worth one more point than intelligence. Well, that would get me closer to 
hacking again. Hmm. <laughs> but after the fact that we couldn't convince the Russian... Oh my... Not this again. Will you move? Ugh. Thank you. The fact that the, I couldn't convince the Russian mafia has left me a little bit uh, questioning some of my skills. Let's talk in your office. What? I said, let's talk in your office. And the sound is here even louder! Dipped. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? I won't. You'll see me again and often. Don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. In fact, 250 gold. That is enough for us, with our haggle skills, to buy us a book. Really, mod makers, I understand you like your own music. As with the anti tribu mod, but it doesn't have to be so loud that even us YouTubers cannot voice over the bloody music. You have something like too much. Hmm, but our configuration is definitely giving us quite a bit of power against uh, the kindred. Not sure if this will help, but I will definitely use it. Oh, that good old plan. There we go. And now being a silent partner, which is why I would never take down Venus, certainly in this mod, it will give us access to every book we want to buy. Using all of our points into things that the books can't buy. Like increasing our intelligence over increasing our scholarship. At least if scholarship is possible, I wouldn't be surprised if that one would be a no-go. Alright. Going some way. Yes, for now. Just drive. Let us go to Santa Monica and get ourselves some books to read. And after that, we'll probably end the episode, and I will go off camera looking for... Well, looking for trouble, in a sense. Because I will probably come back downtown, and we're gonna handle that Plague Barrack quest before we handle the museum one. Why? Well, I would like to get some access to more experience points. Though, actually, the museum one isn't even that difficult. To be honest, in comparison to, well, the plague bearer one, because we don't need to fight, and fighting is what we are currently not the best at, but we're getting better. Certainly, configuration has added quite a bit of uh, possibilities to our kit, and let's not forget that rest for the wicked and blood of the sinner gives us the opportunity to easy gain good amount of blood. Good amounts of blood, and that is awesome. I am considering... I, I think I'm going to do it in intelligence, because I kind of want the hacking also to level. Yeah, scholarship. Then on the hand, I might do scholarship. Because, if I'm not mistaken, Beckett oh, is a possibility to gain some extra scholarship. And if we have it at level 4, you know what that means. Yo, dog. Yo, Jimmy. Can I browse your books? Sure, man. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, take what you need, man. All right. Um, let's see here. Art of the Impossible. Dodge Hunt. Might be interesting. Knife. Mm, guns. Who should have them? Buy that one. Even if it is not such big of a game. Um. Buy that one. I could. I can't buy it twice. Interesting, hold on. Let's first read this. And then, uh, see. 
Oh, we can't buy a second one. Never mind, never mind, never mind, hang up. We will never be able to buy a second book because it's already in our inventory, but we already bought a second finance book, so... I don't n want to buy any protective clothing just yet. I don't think it's necessary. And Hollywood is the first big up. And with Blood Buff, if we combine it up to level 7, we can almost start opening... L um, yeah, let's do it. Read. Let's ask phone again. We will call Jimmy Reed. Sure, man. Go ahead. Yeah, take one. And I'm going a little bit faster food and I'm gonna buy it again. We'll have one buck left, but read that as well, and voila, we have a security of four. Lock picking is at level seven. With blood buff. We can open level 9 stuff. Off camera, I'm gonna open everything here in Santa Monica. Oh, actually, there's one with a level 10, I just realized. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that. I still think this is worth a while investment. I am at least going to open a few more things. I want to have some cash on me, and perhaps there are some interesting things in there. But, as said, off camera. So, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril means great beauty.